show and I instantly fell in love with them. I'm getting a set and I suggest you do too. I know you're looking at these from Kitchen HQ and you're saying, well, what is it? You're getting all three sizes. They're stainless steel and it's a dough press set. And you're saying, dough press? How do I use them? <laughs> You're gonna find that you are gonna use them all the time. Kelly, I think Hi. they're brilliant. These are great. I mean, what a great gift idea for that foodie in your life that you know has every electronic plug-in appliance, but maybe doesn't have something like this. We're gonna start and show you what it does, then we're gonna kind of show you all around the world what yes. we do with our dough. We were talking about how every country has some sort of a stuffed dough dish. Ours here in America, maybe it's peanut butter and jelly, maybe it's apple pie, little apple pies. Yeah. We can call them dumplings. The Chinese call them wonton. Yeah. Uh, the Polish call them pierogies. Yes. The South Americans or the Mexicans, they call them empanadas. Yes. Whatever you like to make, this is how you're going to do it. By the way, dishwasher safe, three different sizes, stainless steel, and it cuts the dough. And by the way, you don't have to make your own dough. I mean, you can buy these wrappers already done. Mm -hmm. They're called wonton wrappers. Yeah. This is just biscuit dough. Mm -hmm. You buy it pre-purchase and then you stuff it with whatever you choose. So we're about to make a wonton. So I just did some seasoned pork. It's just seasoned with ginger garlic and then all you do is you take it and this is the small one I'm going to show you all the different sizes and you stuff your dough and you crimp it right and you can see I used a little egg wash as my edible glue you can use water too and what that does is it just seals your wonton perfect. and look at my perfect wonton now I would take this to my air fryer but you could take it to your deep fryer you could pan fry it in a little mm -hmm. sesame oil you could bake it in your toaster oven or your regular oven and that's the result that you get now you have just made your own basically Chinese food takeout ready yeah. wonton yes with whatever you choose to exactly. put in it whatever yeah. your dietary likes and needs uh, are and you can do it at home so this is just one of the three sizes that you're getting you're not choosing you get all three and i think they are brilliant i love the idea of getting the kids involved with oh you this. said that you were like oh the kids will love to do this they will because it's so simple so the dough is pre-bought or you can roll out your own you know i'm judging neither way whichever one you want to <laughs> choose I buy the wonton wrappers. They come in squares. This will cut it into a circle when you flip it over and then you put in your, you know, filling, your stuffing. It could be chicken. It could be tofu. It could be just vegetables. It could be pork. It could be beef. And then you make a little crimped wonton. That's the small. Okay. Let me show you the medium. And then I want to show you this great video that we have. Okay. Um, because what's great about this is you're going to use all three sizes and you're getting all three. Yeah. What an awesome gift for that foodie in your life. Okay. This is biscuit dough. We all recognize this, right? Sure. Comes pre uh, packaged in the rolls yeah. and you go ahead and just pull it apart a little bit I would give it a little bit of flour so it's not sticky guess what we're gonna make a pierogi oh. you can do your own pierogies I bet you never thought you were gonna make that from scratch right. so we're just gonna do our mashed potato you could do a little chorizo or some pork or some beef whatever you want to add into your pierogi and then oh forgot my uh, my uh, egg wash mm -hmm. or you could even do a little just a little bit of water so okay. this what we're using is just yolk and water yellow uh, you know egg yolk and water okay. and then I just give it a little crimp and mm -hmm. this is the medium size and then I can take my pierogi I would fry this you mm -hmm. could fry this pan fry it deep fry it air fry it you could oven bake it whatever you want and then your pierogi turns into this how perfect we added that? a little caramelized onion and some chives and now I've made my own Polish pierogi to take as an appetizer to my favorite party wherever you go and what I love about the, these is that you could make up a bunch of them cook them, free, package them off, freeze them, and then when you need to run, uh, eat on the run, grab you one. grab and go. And it's food that you made. So remember, you're getting all three sizes. We're gonna show you more. I wanna show the video. Less than $20. Yes. This yes. video is great because this video will basically show you how we're using these around the world. We were saying it sort of ties us all together. We all stuff our dough with something, right? right? It really is that world of possibilities. So you can see the wontons that we did with the little seasoned pork mm. uh, from China and you can just pan fry those up and I love the little to-go boxes okay from yeah. Poland the yeah. pierogies yeah I only ever got pierogies at a food truck I didn't know I could actually <laughs> make them myself yeah and you can boil them and then if South America Central America Mexico we're talking those empanadas mm -hmm. which are so delicious there's actual restaurants here that are dedicated just to just, empanadas that's right you could do cheese empanadas vegetable <laughs> empanadas okay Italy calzones oh, yes. or even little stuffed raviolis oh, to boil you add a little 
red sauce. And then in America, I would have made this peanut butter and jelly, but we're okay. making an apple pie. See, that's what it's, I'm all about. That, and you would like to do it in a cherry pie and you would add it to the air fryer. So you can even make little uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We buy these pre-frozen, well we used to anyway, for my five-year-old. Now I can make them with my own filling. I can do them in whole wheat bread or honey as my sweetener instead of the sugary jellies. But now yeah. I can make them and all I did was I cut my white bread. And by the way, the cutter's on the back. Yeah. So I just cut my white bread like that right. and then I can stuff it. Alice Caron stuffs hers with egg salad and freezes them, as Tamara mentioned, for yeah. on the go. What? So grab it frozen, it'll be in your car, it will thaw out and now you have an egg salad sandwich. We're gonna show you the largest size, but did you check out that price of less than $20? So if you use five flex, because it is cyber week, five or more flex on everything, $3.99 to get these home. This is, this is what, what I'm you gonna want. do. This is okay. the first thing I'm gonna do. So and she I'm says she's buy a my dough. Yes, so you yeah. can buy the pie dough already bought. You all have to, all you have to do is roll it out and add a little flour. Yeah. And she said, Tamara said her favorite pie is the cherry, cherry pie. pie. Now you can make your own cherry pie filling or word to the wise, you can buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything can be pre-bought, <laughs> totally up to you. And now I have a perfectly crimped cherry pie to air fry. Look at that. And then all we did here mm -hmm. was we uh, just put a little glaze. Oh, so we oh, air fried yeah. it and added a little glaze, right? Or you could, like you said, freeze up a bunch of these yeah. and then for the party, take them. And then you have these little mini, basically Pinterest looking, you know, pies. Every time. And it's what you want it to put in. Perfect portion control. If you don't, because I know if I buy a whole pie, I'm gonna eat a whole, whole pie. pie. Good but point. But if I just have a little something, I'm gonna do that. Um, I know. I wish we could spend the whole hour Isn't it making cute? things. We Get so them you home. can stuff your dough with anything. Yeah. This guy is the limit. I'm making an empanada. This is the biscuit dough. You can buy the pie dough. You can buy the pre-bought pizza dough. Any of the doughs will work. If you turn it over, it cuts it. We've just added some seasoned ground beef. This could be tofu crumbles. This could be chicken mm. shreds. And then I've added a little bit of cheese for a little empanada. This could be a vegetable empanada. And you can see I added that little egg wash at the end. It crimps it to perfection. And then I pull it out and I can either air fry it, I can freeze it for later, yeah. or I can pan fry it or I can oven bake it. You could probably microwave it for crying out loud. Wow, I probably yeah. wouldn't. But at yeah. the end of the day, you take them and you cook them however you see fit. The other thing is my brother um, is can't have gluten. Mm -hmm. So I could do, you know, gluten-free dough. Yeah. He would never find a gluten-free empanada except at my house. Not gonna now happen. he'll find That's one. Right. Yep. Uh, he can find fish because you can make I can as make many them as you for him. Want. Oh, that's a good point. I could yes. make them in baggies and put them in his freezer See, for him. There you go. If I was a good sister. <laughs> I have a feeling you are. <laughs> You're getting all three of them, the small, the medium, and the large. You can dishwash, uh, dishwash them or you can mm -hmm. just wash them in the sink like you normally would. Um, enjoy those. You've got five flex of $3.99. So we're getting, we're off to a really good start in these two hours of great gifts. So you can go ahead and pick yours up. We'd love to be able to send them right on out. And even There's my peanut, peanut butter, butter and jelly, jelly for my five-year-old regular bread. We're gonna take a quick uh, peek at some new things that Longcomb has coming up and then we're gonna come back for more gifts.